I like to do sometimes in the morning before I go to the market is get a croissant. Bonjour, madame. Je vais prendre trois croissants au beurre, s'il vous plaît. And that's a perfect croissant. Mm. It's not a good idea to wear a black coat when you're eating croissants. So I always like to look around and look at everything first before I decide what to buy. But in general, I sort of buy from the same people all the time because they know me, they know what I like. Well, right now it's fall and it's kind of an interesting time of the year because you know the seasons have changed, all the summer fruits are gone. You have to kind of shift your thinking. Um, you know, squash are disappearing, tomatoes are disappearing. So it's more about root vegetables, potimarron, uh, quince. So these people here are producers. They actually grow all their own things themselves. It says producteur. And you can see everything actually looks a little funky, which I like. I don't want things to look perfect. You know, you look at these quince and they're beautiful. They're all gnarly, but that's what food looks like. Oui, ça c'est parfait. C'est parfait. I always say France is kind of like an airplane bathroom. When it's your turn, you have all the time in the world. But when you're waiting, you just get really anxious. And you can buy them already cleaned and split. Uh, it's their, their dream if you have exact change in France. Voilà. Hello. Oh, on fait des belles photos. Vous êtes à la marché combien de depuis combien? Oh, grosso modo, moi personnellement, oui. ou la maison. Oui. Moi, ça fait euh, maintenant 23 ans. Deux ou trois ans? 23 ans. Ah oui. Deux oui. ou trois, c'est oui. le deux oui. et trois, mais ensemble. Oui. <laughs> so he's been here 23 years. I'm coming to this market, and he wears a T-shirt every day, even in the middle of the winter. I've got poutine marron, I've got apples, I got cider, I got everything. Time to go home. This is a classic French dessert, tart to ten. These are some apples that I picked last weekend out in the country. I believe that when you're done peeling the apple, it should look like an apple which is why I don't use one of those corers or any of those goofy kind of machinery. So a lot of French desserts sound very fancy to Americans. It's, they say, oh, tart to ten, it's, it must be something very difficult. It was actually a very simple dessert. This is going to cook on the stove top for about half an hour. While this is going, what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and deal with this poti melon. So carefully cut this in half. This is my secret ingredient here in Paris. I buy Korean chili pepper. It's probably more chili pepper than the normal person would use in their life. I mean, as you can see, I've used um, most of it. <laughs> and I just use the whole branches. Very difficult recipe. It's extremely important that you use precise measurements. <laughs> These are the beautiful sardines I got, and they're all filleted and they're all ready to go. So we're just going to cut these super thin, freshly ground black pepper. We could use red chili pepper as well. I often put this on, which is furikake. It's got seaweed and salt in it and sesame seeds. It actually is quite good. Um, I'm going to use it in place of the salt. So this just goes into the oven until they're cooked, and it doesn't take very long, maybe 10 minutes. So I've just got some dough here. Right. Here you can see that the butter has melted, that the juices of the apple have released. So just tuck the edges in. All right. So this goes in the oven. Sort of near the bottom shelf. I know everybody out there is going, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> At some point, probably bacon doesn't look very good either, yet we still love it. So bear with me. The good thing about French butter is it's very flavorful. So just a little. I 
I got yelled at the other day by a French friend who told me I cut bread too thin because I was cutting it like that. She's like, David, no, you must cut it thicker. So, okay, so let's give it a taste. Mmm, it's It's perfect. This is that cider we got at the market. It's really fruity and it's not sweet. People think, oh, cider, it's gonna be sweet. One of the nice things about France is that people aren't concerned about certain foods looking a certain way. They really are more concerned with flavor. They're very happy to eat anything that tastes good. That's much more important. And I like that, I agree with that. It's really good.